Hey family, this is SP News Natives, and we're going to go over this video. Today is August the 12th, 2021, and we're going over the surveillance video of what happened to Cash Gurner on May the 15th, 2021. This is Carter. This is Cash's twin brother. And as you see, we done slowed this video down 800 times, so... That four-minute video is going to last 30 minutes here. And as you see, Carter has came back from somewhere. We don't know where he had entered the room at this particular time. It's supposed to be 5 a.m. in the morning. And we don't know if that's true or not. There is no time stamp or date stamp on this video. As Carter is getting in the bed, <clears throat> he makes sure that he does not uh, wake his brother or... Uh, startle him so he gets in a bed you know one foot at a time and he pulls the cover up um so that um he can share the bed with his brother he looks over there at him as to speak to him or to see if he's up and then he pulls the cover over onto himself carter is actually in the bed got the cover and also you know kind of just kind of looking underneath the cover and he's sitting there he's sitting there i'm just movement just a little bit and uh, he just don't just go straight and lay down he's sitting there now if the, the lights was off he would not just sit there and look at the dark so now he's starting to lay down you guys and we're going to get off into some of this stuff that we may agree on or disagree he, there's a little movement going on so here we go as Carter is laying down in the bed, um, he, there is still a little movement in the bed. Like I said, the lights are supposed to be off. So Carter looking at his brother and, you know, moving around like if, if um, Cash is going to move. Like he's trying to get Cash's attention or something. So he's moving around in the bed a little bit. And then there you see that he finally, he just lays down and he knows that his feet is out of his brother's way. And um, so he's still moving. So he has not even went to sleep. So here's the first note. Carter is wide awake. Now the lighting has changed and the person that's coming in there, the intruder is coming in. And there's an uh, 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 item right there. I didn't know what that item was. Found out. It's an arm. It's an arm going up to this intruder's head as if he's talking to someone either on a phone a headset or earpiece or something but he has his arm up to his head as he comes into the room and i want you to look at the back right next to the backpack there is a flickering of a light now if this was nighttime and the lights was off you will not see a reflection of a light flickering you just will not see that in the dark at night unless it's a reflector or you know like or something that was silver like keys that has some kind of metallic something on there but you see a light flickering right there you know why you see that light because the camera has been adjusted as if it was a night time video in the dark and but it is not this area is fully lighted, and that is why when you see the intruder come, he steps to the left of the bed, knowing that that is where Cash is laying. So he already knows his target and where his target is at. Okay, so the intruder's just standing there on the phone, and as he's standing there on the phone, something catches his eye, and um, you'll see it right now right there right behind the intruder you see this light that goes across there and it goes across his body and he looks at the um, camera or the glass that is reflecting the light from either a car outside or there's movement on the inside of the house now, looking at this almost the 30th time, my observation is 
that someone came to that patio door, the entrance to that bedroom, and opened the door. And that is probably why we seen that light go across there. Because right after we seen the light, he turns towards the doorway and he's standing there conversating on the phone. And there is even actually a light in his, um, his eyeglasses right there. So that tells you there's light on in the house. But um, somebody could open up the patio door or something. And that's why the light was behind him. But um, he is talking still on the phone. And still towards looking at the patio door. And he goes back into a stance again looking at Cash as Cash laying there in the bed. Now, this is very important, this part that's coming up right now. The video seems like it had just completely stopped, and then he looks up. And you see how quick that move was? Now it's red, like there was a slice. When it comes back, he's looking at the door, the patio door again, or the camera, and now he's moving again. Um, some people say, well, if there's no movement, then the camera shuts off. Um, I don't know if that is true or not, so I will not elaborate on that. But now he's moving again, and he puts his arm up, and he takes his arm down like he was going to do something. And I don't see the other arm back up to his head anymore. After that splice, it was a whole bunch of movement had to happen, which we don't get to see because of the splice. And um, the intruder's just standing there, and it seems like it could be splice again, or he is in a just a stance. I mean, when there's absolutely no movement, there's no breathing going on, uh, no swaying or anything for a long period of time, it's very hard for a person to stand still like that. No head movement, no body. Now, there's movement again. And he turns back towards the camera, or as you could say, the uh doors the patio doors and he turns back towards the patio doors and he turns completely around as if he just got a phone call because his hand to the left goes back up to his head again and now he's standing there and there's still a little movement going on, so we do know that um, he must be talking to someone on the phone, getting orders on what to do, and getting convinced on to do it. Um. That's just my perception. Yours might be something else. We're going to talk about it. There's no movement whatsoever. Absolutely none. As if this is a still picture and someone just let it run for a little while. And took out what they wanted to take out. But. <sighs> he's starting to move his shoulders. Now. Um, you see his left arm. Is up to his head again. As he's talking on the phone. And looking at Carter.
as you look, the video is blurring in and out as it's trying to stabilize for some reason. And I don't know what that's all about. Unless there was movement, a camera shouldn't want to try to stabilize. It's a long period of time when there's no movement. Just standing there on the phone looking at cash. Arms not moving, legs not moving, backpacks not moving, heads not moving, foot not move, not buckle or anything. Nothing moves. This is as slow as it gets. And there's not a wiggle as if, if somebody's putting these still pictures in there. Okay, so now there's movement. And he kind of being see. Now the camera dimmed and picks him up. His movement was so fast you didn't see him. Bending over to see Cash. You've just seen him kind of bend and then down. He's all the way down with Cash. And this is a 800 times slow. So we should have been able to watch him bend over and the camera would have picked it up. The camera did not pick it up because I believe that this video had been sliced and they wanted you to see him, whatever he did not do right or didn't do the way they wanted to do. But now the intruder has his arm, his right arm, on the cover. Uh, seems like um, he's checking out the comforter that's on the bed. And he's checking out something on the child as the child lays there. And he's, he's starting to grab the comforter really slow. He's grabbing the comforter. And he's lifting it, lifting it, lifting it. And he shifts it to the middle of the bed. And this is what amazes me. Because he knows that the other kid is in the bed. He drops it down. And he did not drop it down really slow. He drops it down. And the first thing he does is he smells the comforter, like something, an odor has hit him, and he smells the his arm, his hand. I want you to pay attention to Cash right now because there's a light that comes again, and then it goes across the floor this time. Did I see it? I don't know what that is, and like I said, it could be those patio doors opening up somebody there's movement in the house that's the only thing it could be because that is the reflection that you see that's coming across there light and glass or something that's metallic that's moving that's why you see the movement that is not due to the camera that is due to movement in the house other than the intruder that's now just standing there looking at cash in a position that was um, for a short time not moving as he goes closer to the crib um, he's bending down and so now he props his head up towards the window and stands there 
as if he's talking to someone at the window or they're telling him that as he picks up the child, he needs to make sure he let them get a picture of the child as he commits this uh, act here. He's moving closer to the bed. And now he is actually, and you see there's a reflection on the backpack and it's flickering. He is touching the child's head. And not only that, the little dark space that was in the window now has a little light in the window that you can see. I'm not going to put arrows up there, you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys can see this. He's touching the child head and doing something but the video the person actually stopped moving again He put both hands down, and now he's putting both hands up to his face. Camera dims again. Now just remember, he just moved, and now it clicks back to his arm, and Carter raises up. Carter raises up, and the intruder turns around and speaks to Carter. He speaks to Carter, and Carter's got his head leaning out of the bed, watching everything that's going on. Carter knows this person very well, and is not startled. Carter didn't scream. He didn't holler. He didn't say, who are you? Or just remember, Carter wasn't asleep when the intruder came in also. This is a four-minute video, so in four minutes, Carter was not asleep. Carter sees exactly who it is, and he is not scared like it's somebody that's not supposed to be there. Carter is very intrigued on wondering what are you doing? He still has his head leaned over and watching as he bends down to cash. Carter's head is still watching the intruder. Alleged intruder. Because why would Carter just lay there and watch? If it was dark, what would Carter be looking at? He never did put his head back down. Carter is just watching him. And now he's picking up the baby. And he's taking a turn. And he stops for one second so that they can get the picture right there. And he makes sure because he made sure his right hand was on his chest so he could stabilize the child. And Carter watches him walk out. With his brother. Carter's head never did lay back down. But as you see right here. You see Carter? 
Carter's looking. As if I know this person very, very well, but I don't know what they're doing. This is my perception of what I see, and this is why I believe there's more people involved, and I believe that there is someone being framed, and my perception is only by the information that I am looking at. Carter still has not put his head down and still watching to see what is going on out there. Now, if there, if if this room was pitch black, Carter's head wouldn't stay up so long to look, because when you're in a dark room and the, and and you don't see anything because the lights is out, there's nothing to look at. Video is sliced again. That's when you see the red. The video is sliced. Now it is supposed to be 7 a.m. in the morning. And this is the second part of the surveillance. And you see um, another person comes in. Allegedly, this is supposed to be Darian Brown again. But um, you see the person more clear. You see their color more clear. Uh, the curtains has changed. The toys that was on the side of the wall in the cupboard the cupboard shelf shelf has changed the bedding has changed and um this person walks in it looks like they have a monitor on their leg or they have something on there but we did find out there was no uh, home security device so that was just the bedding and how his Pants kind of folded over his shoes. He's talking to the child. He's pet the child on the head. Um, he's talking. You see his lips moving. He's talking. And I don't know what he's saying. Somebody else is going to be working on that. Hopefully Kenny. Anywho. Um, he stands there. This person stands there and kind of look at Carter. Carter moves a little bit, so we do know Carter is woke. And this person gets ready to walk out the door. They do not look at the camera at all. They do not look at the window. They do not look at the door that they just came into. They literally do not pay attention to any of that. And they get ready to walk out in another exit which we found out that door is locked down that is another problem how can that door be locked down and that person go out that door because the FBI couldn't get out the door the woman couldn't get out the door the man could not get out the door but this person had to get out the door or walk along the side of the end of the room, which makes no sense, they would have known. Or maybe they didn't know. But the first person intruder did not even try to attempt to go out of that door. That's a red flag to me. We're waiting, the camera is still rolling, the camera is still rolling, and then the camera is going to pick up again at some particular time. Just remember, you guys, this is a four-minute video that we are now watching for 30 minutes, and you're seeing every little detail, things. And so I know you guys are going to have questions, you're going to have more of an understanding, or maybe you're going to be more kind of confused now because you were sick. Carter now gets up, and I don't know if time did pass because that was a long time, but Carter now gets up, and this is what we need to talk about too. Carter steps 
onto the bed so he knows Cash is not there because he's stepping where Cash could have been. He knows Cash is not there because guess what? He's seen them take Cash out. And then he's starting to step like this bed is wet. He picks up his feet like whatever's in the bed. I don't want to step on it. You see, he gap his legs like, oh my God, what did I step in? He looks down. Because he stepped into something and he's looking like, I don't want to step in it again. And he eases to the edge of the bed, to the side. And if you notice anything, his pants, his short pants that he has on is now pure black with a red stripe. And he eases on off the bed. He do not want to step on the bed because something is on that bed that Carter did not want to step on. So Carter eases on down and gets out of the bed with no problem. And Carter makes his way out of the room. And Carter is starting to walk towards the open patio doors. Now, the only thing that's happening now is as you look in the windows, it seems like some there's some movement outside on the side of the house. There's movement because it's so early in the morning, we know that the wind is not blowing. So there has to be movement in the house. It looks like the curtain is going in and out, like either the door, the window is open, or there's movement outside of, on the side of the house. Because 7 o'clock in the morning, there is not wind blowing. And even if that's an AC unit, it's not blowing like that where it's moving the curtain. So there's, got, there's movement outside of that window. There's movement outside of that window to the right of that air conditioning. Now, time has changed now, and it's later. It's later, later. Carter comes back into the room. Carter seems to be looking for somebody. He's looking to the wall, and he kind of looks to the other door. And here's the problem. Carter looks right up at the camera. And that's when he says, either poor cash or old cash or whatever anybody uh, got out of that when he makes that comment. And he stretches. And Carter knows better to even go by the window and look to see what they are doing. He will not go by the window at all. But he knows who done what they done. And he knows them very well. This is just my perception, you guys. And we can talk about it. And we will. Thank you.